Throughout my life, I have faced terminal illness, depression, and a feeling of loneliness. Every time I'm at my lowest, I find that crystals help me come back to life. Let me share with you how I combined all these crystals to help you too. Welcome Virgo. I just want to share with everyone what specific crystals that I was referring to that can help you if you're going through something difficult in your life. Now, the black spinel aligns you with your destiny. This is the multiple blessing. The turquoise is very protective. The amethyst grounding and makes you feel secure. The pink opal heals your heart space. And the garnet helps you manifest material wealth. And this has a citrine in the middle. So for people who are seeking abundance and tired, of course, of trying to attract luck, then this can help you too. So it has all this uh, specific combination. These are my favorite crystals that has helped me throughout. The citrine, you know that, and also other people. You can see it, um, like how people would really um, connect with the vibration when, you, when you're trying to manifest different things with this bracelet. So um, I'll tag in the corners of, of this video and we have it on free shipping. It's also at 50% off discount and it's also including just for the weekend the money magnet um, um, charm that you can hang in your car or your doorway or your entry of your house. So this one I believe that can, you know, attract more opportunities for you. So let's begin your reading. Now we're going to see your side and then your person's side. Let's see here. Wheel of Fortune. A very good card. The Wheel of Fortune is a card of having fate on your side. This is basically a door of opportunities that we call. This is also the time where your life can change just by taking this new you know, new step or taking a leap of faith because this is about taking a chance on Lady Luck. Now, here you will see that there are three energies, which means that you are manifesting different things in your life. And there are times where you doubt yourself. And there are times that where you're fearful of, if I do this, this might happen, this might happen. So you're scared to take a chance. And ch there are probably instances in your life that you didn't take it and now you are basically left with no choice but just to settle. This is showing that you need to have that courage because fate is in your side. May it be about love, money, career. You are encouraged here that things do go to your favor. Don't focus on the things that you don't get. Focus on the things that is being presented to you as an opportunity. This is a very good card for your first card. Now you have a red thread here, so you're probably connecting with your soulmate. The Fool, and I did mention taking a leap of faith. The only thing that you're hindered right now with regards to your growth is the part where you have no belief in yourself. The full card is about experience, and you're hesitant to experience things outside the box. You're a person, probably, who has gotten used to your mundane, the life, and there's nothing wrong with that. But there is no more growth. This is another major arcana, which means that the Virgos are being guided to take that step. Is it just going into a new restaurant, that can be. Is it even just changing 
your potato chips. That can be, is it hopping on a plane and just traveling? That can be, but this full card, it's a little tricky because this does not take responsibility for their action, which means you have to understand that like, if you do take that chance, there are some red flags also. If it's about replying to your ex, talking to them, how is it going to go, there are strong chances that it may lead to failure, but it also may lead to a success. When you step out of your box and you experience that growth, that is worth basically the will of fortune. So if there is a connection manifesting between you and your person and you're skeptic about giving it a chance, the Wheel of Fortune and the Full Card, this is 50-50. It is not, it's not giving you failure. It's not giving you success. It's giving you an experience in life. And if you, if you just want to stand still, well, then there is no life there. So I'm not sure whether you're going to take this or not because you're skeptic. Not that you have trust issues. You just I feel like you just have so much fear. You have here the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. So then you're jaded. Mm. Now what I'm seeing here is your. You're not really open to anything. This is very guarded. Yep, you burn bridges. Ten of Wands. You have so much pain. I wonder what happened. Because the Ten of Wands is you have taken all the hits here. The responsibility, the blame. You walk away. And then you just accept it. That, okay, if it's my fault, it's my fault. It failed, it failed. You don't even have to have the walk of shame because it's, if it's not your fault, it's not your fault, but you're accepting it. The Ten of Wands here... I feel that you're taking the blame because you want to be responsible for your own action, meaning it takes two to tango, and you're telling yourself, it happened because I allowed it. It happened because I tolerated it. That's why you have a Queen of Swords now. You're telling yourself here, during the, your time at your weakest, you couldn't say no, but now that you have gathered the strength Queen of Swords to cut your person off, you're going to do it. Ooh, it's hard. You have the lovers. You have the lovers. So, I feel like we've all been there where we do things that are stupid, crazy, when we're in love. And you're one of those. We're all those, I think. But how much you give with the Ten of Wands and the Lovers, I feel like all, oh, you really went all the way, loving, caring, taking responsibility for your person, and it didn't manifest the way that you were thinking of. Mm -hmm. Now, your person's side the way I see this is they look at some sort of memories that the two of you have shared. They do miss you. Mm, they have a two of cups. They're inside their head right now, crossroads about the partnership, thinking about them and you, and of course thinking about the us, meaning you and them as a couple. Mm. The Two of Cups is good that it comes on their side, which means that they did love you. And I feel like, yes, there is separation, but I feel like they still have this strong attachment. They've turned their back against you, though. Oh, still love you. Ten of Cups. They have a lot of love for you. They have dreams about you. Good memories. They always wonder also if you still have the same feelings towards them. You have fulfilled a lot of their wishes in their life, and they appreciate that, the Ten of Cups. But you were never fulfilled. 
you felt neglected. You felt that ten of ones with the lovers. I do so much and I get so little in this relationship. So your person then now has this whole stress or mindset about like it, it, we can never fix this. They have big regrets here with the Nine of Swords. They have so much frustration also with the Nine of Swords. I see that your person right now doesn't know really what's going on or how to fix this. And if it's going to be fixed, then like it feels like they're just going around in circles inside their head. But they're living a life of denial, Seven of Swords. They're avoiding you. The Seven of Swords is a card of lies, deceit, so you won't even hear from them. I feel like they're also avoidant with the Seven of Swords. They don't want to appear weak in front of you. So they have a lot of baggage. You're releasing that baggage. They, I feel, cannot let go. There is going to be a conversation, Ace of Swords, a very important conversation between you and your person. Mm -hmm. Now, the extended reading to this is in the comments and in the link. The links is in the description box below or in the comments, where I dive deeper and I answer all your questions and I focus on the next 30 days. A truth is about to come out, the Three of Swords. There will be some big development here about the partnership and the direction where it's going. But it is something that is unpredictable. But it might happen now. Something that you probably never thought will happen. So follow me in Extended, link in the comments. I'll see you there.